We got breaking news out of HQ in the college basketball world where Laval Jordan is out as the coach of the Butler Bulldogs after back-to-back -back losing seasons there. Jordan spent five years at his alma mater there, leading the Bulldogs to an NCAA tournament appearance back in 2018. But his best season there came in the pandemic shortened season 2019 to 2020 when Butler reached as high as a number five seed in the AP poll. I want to head to New Orleans and bring in senior college basketball writer Matt Norlander on this news and this reaction here with Jordan out as the head coach of Butler. Well, yeah, this has been uh, in the works for weeks. Uh, in fact, talked to uh, talked to sources uh, and as recently, frankly, as, as last night on Thursday night about this very situation. Because the deal is Butler was an underwhelming team this season. There's no doubt about it. But Laval Jordan was an alum. Barry Collier, the athletic director there, is a former coach. He understands how these things go. And the buyout dropped significantly today. Now, Butler's a private school. We don't have the exact number. But this had been rumored about, whispered about, you know, gossiped about, like, is Barry Collier going to wait until April 1st to fire Laval Jordan when the buyout drops? That's exactly what happened. And uh, I had one source in the program tell me, um, you know, he understands what, why it's happened, but he really disagrees with how Collier handled this, frankly. Uh, not a good look at all. Um, you know, the staff was waiting for two and a half, three weeks, just waiting to see how this would actually go about and if they would be able to get through Final Four weekend. Uh, they do not. We have yet another power conference job that has opened. In fact, uh, according to my coaching carousel tracker at CBSSports.com, this is the 50th job overall in men's Division One basketball that has seen turnover in this year's cycle. Butler is obviously a coveted job, a biggies job, and so now we take the next steps of trying to figure out who the next coach will be. Butler, of course, 14 wins, 19 losses this past season in the Big East, as you mentioned, one of those top jobs. But looking at this job, of course, Ed Butler, what's next for the program here? Well, Collier, uh, no doubt about it, has a list of names. I would assume that list is relatively small. Uh, he, you know, I don't know if he'll ever say this publicly, but clearly he made this decision uh, well in advance of today. Uh, you know, it, he just had to wait until the contract, the ink, allowed him to do this and not cost Butler nearly as much money to fire Laval Jordan. I'll give you three names, uh, and including my name, uh, according to sources, who I think is most likely to get this job. I'd keep an eye on Drew Valentine, the, the, the young coach at Loyola Chicago who just brought the Ramblers to the NCAA tournament in his first season. He is a rising star. Um, Loyola is thrilled to have him. He might well stay there for the next few years. I think Drew Valentine eventually coaching a, a high major program is an inevitability. We'll see if it's Butler or if it's not. A um, bit of a wild card, but a, a guy that I actually think Butler should take a really long look at would be Mark Schmidt out of the A-10 at St. Bonaventure. Uh, Schmidt has done an amazing job year after year after year. He's had other opportunities he's passed down. Um, I think he'd be good. But the one name that I'd really zero in on here I actually think it's Ohio coach Jeff Bowles. And so here's what I'm told uh, by, by a source that might be the likely scenario that winds up happening here in the, in the coming days or weeks. Thad Mata, who has been rumored to have maybe uh, be a candidate for this job, and maybe he would be a, a super dark horse, but I'm actually told Thad Mata transitioning to a role maybe as an associate athletic director at Butler uh, might be a transition for him there. And then who is Thad Mata uh, close with? Jeff Bowles, who has done a good job at Ohio, a really good job, got him to the NCAA tournament a year ago, and certainly could be uh, well positioned there. So as we speak, as this news is breaking, uh, Ohio's Jeff Bowles would be my leading candidate, and I certainly, uh, you know, he will get an interview. He will be in the mix there. It's just a matter of how long it takes for, uh, for the process to play out. All right, the Butler Bulldogs, of course, the wheels are spinning now. As you mentioned, a lot of options on the table as we head into next season, of course, the offseason for most in college troops. As always, Matt Norlander, appreciate your time with the breaking new there. Laval Jordan out the door, but take a look at what he did in five years. Coming back there is alma mater, 2017-18, and then you see 2019-20, two winning seasons, but last year just 14 wins and six will not get it in the Big East. We know how many teams always go to the big dance. Butler, been quite some time. You got to go back to 2019. But download and subscribe. You'll hear, of course, Gary Parrish and Matt Norlander. This is Final Four week. It's almost here Saturday. The guys will be diming in on all the noise there. The Final Four. Download and give them a follow. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.